Good morning, Craig. Morning, Richard. So here we are at Diner Talk on a wonderful Saturday morning with an interesting project you've been working on for the last few months. Yeah, this one's, um, it has been a few months as well. <laughs> it it certainly has been. took its time. So this yeah. is a 2007 Porsche Cayman, and yep. one of your favourite engines in the world is an LS. Yep, uh, uh, LS3 in this one. So, yeah, so this is Europe's first LS converted Porsche Cayman. I believe so. I, 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 can't, I don't know of any others, but um, I believe there's been a lot of done in America with um, uh, different kits and that, but I don't think there's one in Europe. So for those that don't know, the Cayman is um, a Porsche, Porsche, um, and it's a mid-engined yep. car. Yep. Um, this one originally came with a 3.4, 3.6? I, I think this was a 3.4. Uh, I'm not actually sure. The engine um had gone the top end had gone on it originally yeah um it'd been rebuilt and then it gone again marvelous so it was just like i'm not just not putting any more money back in a load of money to get the same power that yeah. said wasn't really enough anyway um so rather than you know break it scrap it try and find a second engine that might last you know whatever um he's he wanted the idea of putting Alice in, so... Is, it, is this a guy that you knew already, or just no, fa- he found you? No, from, um, I think he, um, from Facebook, I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, I think, because I did the 911, the 997, I think he'd, he was um, on the Porsche forum for that yeah. or something, so basically through there. Um, he spoke to me a long while ago about it, and I was, I was a bit unsure, because it, it's so much work. Um, yep. Because the engine, where it is, is... Well, behind the seats. Yeah. Um, in America, what they do, they move the engine back about four inches and then down. Yeah. Which causes a lot of drive shaft angle issues. Oh, okay. And, and uh, all all that. Sort Ramp of angles. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that just makes it not ideal. Yeah. Um, I get why they do it because it's easy because a lot of guys want to buy a kit and bolt it yeah. in, but it's not how we do it. And the joy of yeah, exactly. So so what you do, you you hand fabricate all of the engine mounts and you get it sit a lot of your builds, like the LT um E ninety two that we showed yeah. you previously, look like a factory install. Well that that's the thing, I mean it's very easy to um get an engine in and make it work. Yep. It's it's the bit that make it nice that, that, that is all the difference I think. Yep. Um I mean this one has been I've probably spent twice as long doing this as I would a normal conversion, so it's been... Is that because it's new, or you just um, wanted just it right? Just the pure amount of work that's involved in doing it, and the way we've done it. Um, Should we have a look? Let's pop the yeah. hood. Oh, wait, so, it's not there, yep. is it? <laughs> <Around the back. laughs> um, what we've deliberately tried to do is, if you look for here, you can see... Ooh. It's not... The carpet is... It's got to go to the... Fab, um, the so so um, that is that is over there. You got a, the yeah, we've got to go to the um, upholsterers upholsterers now. Yeah. To, yeah, it's not, not carpet's not my thing. No. <laughs> so basically, we've moved this forward about two inches. Yeah. Um, but it retains the original engine access panel. What is that for? Basically, you get off, so you can get to like the front of the engine, do the belts and stuff like that. So, oh, okay. Um, it just means you can get into the engine if need be. Um, what we've done on this one, we've used a. Um, they do a front wheel drive LS. Um, oh, okay. So the reason available are very short, crank pulley and front end. So what's, what runs a front wheel drive LS? Um, oh, is it a Caprice or something like oh, that? Oh, okay. No, some something stupid. Thing, yeah. So um, here we but, are. But it, 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 you gain about three inches off, the, or you lose three inches off front of the engine, so that's superb. So that allowed us... Th- this is the main core support between the two struts. Um, and I've seen people take that out. Okay, so Which, is that when they move it back in yeah, America? Yeah, and put the inlet, and it's just like, I do, you know, you can't do that. It's the main stretch structure yep. of the rear of the car. You can't do that. So we've added structure in round here to, to support the engine lid. Um, and little touches like, once the engine is on, oh, uh, oh, okay. dipstick, oil and water. So that, that still works like that's, it would that's be? That's all original. Clever. Took quite a long time to yeah. make that work. Original airbox is reutilised. Ah, so um, does that feed from underneath then? It feeds from the side vent. Oh, okay. And, I mean, on the dyno yesterday, and the air temps are superb. I mean, they're like, full power ones, they're like 28 degrees, which so, is really good. So this is an LS3? Yeah. Basic LS3, or have you got a cam in it? It's or? an LS3 with, they, they do a GM performance kit, Yeah. which is basically CNC ported heads and LS7 cam. So really not that aggressive at all but we weren't going for outright um 
power and it wants to daily it yeah and oh, okay. do everything so i mean we've made 512 horse that's all right isn't it what was the stock engine not bad is i it? think they're 290 so it depends which one it yeah. was um but it's it's smooth quiet cruisy i mean it'll pull sixth at 20 mile hour around town it's absolutely it just drives that, super so so what have you done with things like the diff and everything else because that's an um, issue that you have many of your ls conversions isn't it it's um we've put a um, wave track diff in the gearbox because yeah. the open diff is normal so yeah. you know to put an lsd in um and the kep adapter plate onto the original gearbox yeah. which is oh so we're still, you're still running the porsche gearbox still porsche gearbox yeah exactly with that much power yeah they, they seem to you know they seem to cope fine. Cool. There's no horror stories yet. I mean, no. I'm sure you could break it if you wanted to, yeah. but you know, um, it's not a drag car. It's a it's a road car. But um, so, what else have you had to do to get the engine? Because I mean, well, this we, looks like uh, because the boot hasn't changed. You've changed nothing no, here, have you? No, we, we really wanted to keep this all completely usable because he wants to like go to Europe in it and stuff yeah. like that. So, um, original header tank. Um, we've had to put a pass bottle up here so it wasn't the engine. Uh, 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 question, so because I know your favourite thing is making exhaust. What have yeah. you done with the headers and the exhaust on this? Um, headers are LS7. Um, oh, so you haven't had to make your own then? Nope. There's, there's actually a lot of room on there. And then the exhaust, we've got two, uh, two oval boxes here and two round boxes at the back. Yeah. Exit in through the original um, exit. It's a dual three inch exhaust. Um, looks, looks factory. Yeah, I mean, it had a lot bigger tips not originally, but yeah. I just like the, the you know the, the straight pipe. I just think it works. Um, but it, it's, it's a tiny bit of drone, about eighteen hundred RPM if you labour the engine. But yeah. he wants it loud, so um, we could have gone down on the size, probably two and a half would maybe help, but it might have harmed the power a bit. Now you're running an Emerald ECU, which is yep. one of your one of your favourite ECUs. Does but, that mean you've got full full dash? Everything yeah, works. Dash, everything works. Um, we have, uh, we've just got to do the late, uh, an update now on the... Um, so this is... Oh. Yeah, the... I haven't done the update yet on the ABS, but all the taco and everything else that he's got to start, but how much keep forgetting about, so... So everything works. Speedo and... Yeah, verbs. Speedo, taco temp lights, fans. We've got the PSM failure on at the moment, so we've got an ABS fault on it, but that, that will be sorted. It's, it's the same as the 911, um, and that, that's all done. We've already done that. But you see, it's not too offensive noise-wise. Keeping things like all the clocks working and everything else is one yeah. of the, the biggest failures of many, many uh, engine inversion well, when you forget about the little touches. It's really difficult. I mean, I mean, luckily Emerald are, are very, very good. You know, they, they put time I mean, we were there till half seven last night um, uh, doing the mapping and um, doing stuff and that. Like I said, we've got an ABS fault, unfortunately, but, you know, we know what that is, so we just, we just ran out of time. Um, but, like, we've got a map switch. I've not fitted it to it yet, so I don't know where he wants it. So, so what, we've what got map two. So basically, um, normal map. Map two is um, it pops a mangs over and a bit more yeah. leery. No traction control because the ECU will do traction control. Oh, okay. Um, and then map three is valley mode, so you, you only get like ten percent throttle, and um, uh, it won't rev past two thousand stuff like that. Oh, so okay. you can just leave it in that and just you know if anybody wants to use it or move it, then they can't go and be a hooligan in it. Yeah. Um, yeah, the engine lid, um, one of my friends is a fiberglass whiz, um, so this is the lid. Because it's heat proofing. Yeah, it's heat proofing. Um, we haven't, again, it's not carpeted yet, um, it's got to go after the valley. We've just done this very roughly. Do, yeah. but and how does that sit in? Go that on. basically sits in to, because all the original net and everything will go onto this, and that sits in, got that. And once it's carpeted and we struggled to get this carpet was a problem so yeah. we're running a bit late with that i mean i'm no porsche expert so i can't i don't know what was there before was is it just a flat panel um it was that oh okay so basically it's just a foam sound yeah. and you'd add like a, an aluminium tin over then that um so from the outside all it almost stopped yeah i mean once that's carpeted i mean it looks a bit of a mess now but yeah. once it's carpeted 
you know, all this little sun visor thing fixed back down and the original neck can go back on it. It yeah. should be should be as factory. I mean, what some of them do in the States, they put like a Perspex panel up here yeah. and leave it open or they make a big aluminium box over the engine, but the noisy. The noise, yeah. I mean, we've, we've heat shielded both sides of this and yeah. it's, it's actually amazingly quiet. Cool. Um, you know, because, you know, you don't want the engine sat droning behind your ear. So yeah. it's, um, and that was again one of the, the, the cam choices we picked. Like, it's not an aggressive cam, so you don't get a lot of valve train noise, and and it, you know it is it is remarkably quiet. Do you enjoy doing this project? Because you've done many. I mean, you've got like Asperger's, um, That's an E46 M3 with an LS. Yeah. Your you've got the DeLorean up there. You've got Phil's. RX8. RX8. Um, it's been a challenge. I've I've. It's certainly not been financially great because I've spent so much time doing yeah. it. But I knew that. I mean, I knew that when I took it on, it was going to be um, a lot of work, and it was. And um, but the, you know, the guy who dropped off, and he, you know, that he's not put me any in any sort of yeah. time restraints. He's Perfect, like, just then, do it, which is the way. So that way, you, you can afford to spend a bit more time on it yeah. and get it how you want it. Well, there we go. If you've got any questions about this, please pop them in the comments. And yeah, check out Dino Talk for more engine conversions. We'll be, we'll be showing more of. Craig's crazy work. We've got another LS Porsche to show you the DeLorean when it's back up and running. Maybe have a look at Ash Boris's car. Yeah. Lots of lots of things going on. So yeah, check out check out Dino Talk for more more silly V8 conversions. Cheerio, Craig. Bye.